Scratch and share. I got it, I got it, I got it! Yes! Hey, Erg, wanna play? Uh-oh. How about you, Snick? Uh-oh. Oh! I don't think they're interested, Bartleby. Game on! All right, are you ready, Grok? Yes, yes, yes! Prepare to be bested by my floating lotus tiger kick. Don't worry, Grok, I'll catch you. <laughs> Yay! Nice catch, Grok. All right, Yerk. I guess that means we're in the middle now. Wow! <laughs> okay, Grok. Now throw the ball to us, and Bartleby will try to catch it. And I'm ready for you. <laughs> um, still ready? Don't you want to throw the ball to us, Grok? <laughs> oh, boy. She is tougher than a stale fishy poof cracker. Come on, Grok. Don't you want to share? Sharing is caring. <laughs> B, I think it's time for a song. What do you say, Grok? Can I share a song about sharing with you? Oh, please say yes. <laughs> What do you think, Grok? <laughs> That's the sharing spirit. <laughs> okay, let's play again. This time, I'll go in the middle. Bartleby, you throw to the triplets. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Floating lotus striking tiger kick. <laughs> wow, Bartleby. That went really far. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little too much tiger. Not enough lotus. Hey, wait for us. I think I see it over here. And that's just a rock. Any luck, Drew? No, I can't find it anywhere. But watch your step, Bartleby. Hey, guys, over here. I think I found a ball. It's right next to this this stick thing. Huh? Oh! <laughs> 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 Yeah, hold on. So what is this for? <laughs> no, still confused. <laughs> you know when you have an itchy spot on your back that's too hard to reach? Well, now you can scratch that itch. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's just a scratching stick. Huh? This isn't just any scratching stick. <laughs> it's an extra special. <laughs> Great scratching stick of the never-ending forest! Oh, I got one of those. See? Oh, that's good. <laughs> scratching is really important to Yetis because their big fuzzy coats get super itchy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might need a cat nap. All this excitement is making me see red. I see it too, Bartleby. It's a red Yeti. A red Yeti? <laughs> Good sharing, Grok. <laughs> Does this mean we can sing the sharing song again? <laughs> Maybe not right now, Bartleby. I'm going to go try and talk to him. Okay, I'm here if you need me. Hi there, I'm True, and these are my friends. Can we be friends with you? 
Well, a fun way to be friends is to share. Want to try? See? Now you're both having fun. Ooh, da, 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 da. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah! <laughs> now everyone's having fun. We've never seen a Red Yeti before. Are you here all by yourself? Uh-uh. Another Red Yeti? Oh, it seems like the scratching stick is a big deal to the Red Yetis, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mine! 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 If you're riding the ice cream bus... Uh, no, that's not everything. If your hair is... Um... Everyone! Everyone! Mine! 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 <laughs> the scratching stick! <laughs> Wait, don't go! Okay, this is really weird, Bartleby. Oh, what's going on? I'm not sure, but it all started when the Yetis didn't want to share. Then the scratching stick was taken. And the forest started falling apart? Hmm, maybe if we find another scratching stick, everything will go back to normal. Hey, here's a stick! Okay, stand back, Troop. This is a job for a kitty natty ninja cat. Uh, Bartleby, nothing happened. What? Ah, hairballs. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, true. Thank goodness. I'm afraid we need your help. Forest critters are flooding into Rainbow City. idea why this might be happening. Well, there's a slight problem with the never-ending forest. And it's all because the red and blue yetis aren't sharing. And the scratching stick is missing. The great scratching stick of the never-ending forest is missing? Oh, dear. The forest is at peace as long as everyone is getting along. If no one is sharing and the stick is missing, everything in the forest is going to fall apart. Don't worry, Rainbow King. On it. I hope he's exaggerating. <laughs> Not exaggerating. We need wish help. Oh, Cumulo! To the wishing tree, please. Go, go, Cumulo! Thanks, Cumulo. We'll be back in a flash. There's just no waking this little guy. Z, we need help. True, Bartleby. Join the party. This forest critter just suddenly showed up at the wishing tree. It's because the forest is in chaos. And the critters all left. So they moved into the city. And onto your desk. Because the red yetis took the scratching stick. Which made the blue yetis really upset. And do you know there are red yetis? Red! Living here in Rainbow Kingdom. Okay, uh, there's a lot going on. Let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? First, I need a way to fix the forest so that the critters can go back to their homes. Yes, that would... Ah! Oh, oh! Ah! 
Yes. Please help these critters get back home. Then I need a way to find the scratching stick and put it back where it belongs. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Now, let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Riwi! Riwi! Good to see you again, Riwi! Remember, Riwi is a backwards wish. It can make anything go in reverse, but it only understands when you speak backwards. Right, I am? Perfect! Riwi can help put the forest back to normal. So, um, re we me help you can? Next up is Snorfle. <laughs> Snorfle is a smelling wish. It can find anything using its super sensitive sniffer. Snorfle, I know you can help us track down the scratching stick so we can put it back where it belongs. <laughs> Just remember, Snorfle's legs are super speedy, so don't fall behind. Got it. And thirdly, we have Burrow. Burrow. Nice to meet you too, Burrow. Burrow is a mighty wish that can tunnel its way through anything. That's incredible. Hmm, I'm not sure how tunneling underground will help our problem above ground. I'm going to have to dig deep on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Wishing you lots of luck. <laughs> Wishing. <laughs> Good one, Z. It's true. She's gonna fix everything. <laughs> oh, I was just getting used to my fuzzy new fascinator. <laughs> Turn things back to normal. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Oh, right. I forgot. Z said I have to talk to Riwi backwards. Um, let's see. You choose I. Zoo zap zip. True come wish. Riwi. Help too, ready? Oh, you said ready to help? <laughs> me too. Um, to me. Fairies back, bring. Yeah! Oh, berries, we missed you. Oh, do the mushrooms now. <laughs> feeling down a little bit. But but this isn't Riwi's fault, right? <laughs> Worry, don't. Fault you're not it. Trying for thanks. Pack the in back now. Riwi! Oh no, you're all so hungry and tired and itchy. It really does seem like the only way to get the forest back to normal 
is for us to find the scratching stick. But how are we going to find it? That's where Snorfle comes in. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snorfle. Wish come true. Hi, Snorfle. Snorfle. Do you think you can sniff out the scratching stick? <laughs> was the last one to use the scratching stick, so get a whiff of him. That'll put you on the right track. Quick, Bartleby! We've got to keep up with that super sniffer. Some of my fishy poof crackers. Oh, da -ba -da -ba -do. Mm -hmm. Good sharing, Bartleby. Mm -hmm. Looks like Snorkel found something. Okay, everybody off. I don't see the scratching stick. I wonder why Snorkel stopped here. What is it, Snorfel? Where's the stick? Is it behind the rocks? Hey, I think I hear something. The Red Yetis must be on the other side with the scratching stick. But True, how are we going to bust through this wall? If we can't make it through the wall, we'll just tunnel under. Thanks for helping us with your sniffer, Snorfel. Now tuck yourself back in. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Burrow! Wish come true! Hi, Burrow. The scratching stick is on the other side of this rock mountain. Can you tunnel under it? <laughs> go, Burrow, go! <laughs> Right, True. There's lots of red yetis. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm True, and this is Bartleby and Grok. And I think you already know Erg. Hi! 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 Mine! Mine! Oh, oh no. The babies are copying. Yeti see, Yeti do. Should we 
sing the sharing song? Don't worry, B. I know Papa Red will do the right thing. <laughs> oh! Thanks for your help, Burrow. I really dug having you around. <laughs> now back in the pack. <laughs> now let's put this sharing stick back where it belongs. I hereby rename the great scratching stick of the never-ending forest to the great sharing scratching stick of the never-ending forest. For all scratchy itches, big and small. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> You can never underestimate the power of a good sharing song. You're right, Bartleby. Let's sing. Sharing is caring. issues. Perfect execution. <laughs> hey, look at that cloud. It's a kitty natty ninja cat. Like me. Hmm, are you sure? Because that kitty natty doesn't look like it's falling down at all. <laughs> Good one, True. Up top. <sighs> <gasps> Bartleby, look. Is that what I think it is? Oh, you mean that cloud shaped like a fishy poof cracker? <laughs> But I meant a little lower, in the tree. Aw, it's a cute little birdie. That's not just any cute little birdie. It's a birdaloo. <gasps> you mean the magical bird that only appears when a baby is being born in the Rainbow Kingdom? Yes. Someone, Someone is, is having, having a baby. The babies are here. Oh, hey, where are you going? She must be showing us where the baby's going to be born. Follow that. Not born yet. 
We're so excited for you! Oh, a baby! That is super fantastic, big time congrats! Sorry, Bertaloo. We didn't mean to scare you. Really? The baby can't be born unless the Bertaloo's here. Oh! And she doesn't like loud noises. We were just really excited about the baby. We'll be quietly excited now. Yay! I guess we should get going now. We can't wait to meet your new baby. You know, I'm really good with kids. They love cats. I mean, I mean, who doesn't, right? If you need names, I'm your guy, okay? Bartleby, if it's a boy, or Bartleby. Come on, Bartleby. Let's leave so Snick can rest. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See ya. A Yeti baby? This is so exciting. <gasps> you know who else loves babies? Griselda, you're not going to believe this. The Yetis are having a baby. Yee! A Yeti baby? I so have to rebubble this. <laughs> Blue Begonias! The Yetis are having a baby? Oh, this hasn't happened in a thousand years! It's happening, it's happening, a little birdie told me It's been a thousand years since there's been a Yeti baby It's happening, it's happening, a Yeti daddy told me Let's spread the news and move our shoes so everyone will hear It's happening, it's happening, a brand new Yeti baby So let's all cheer, the day is near, hooray, hooray, hooray It's happening, it's happening, a little birdie told me It's been a thousand years since there's been a Yeti baby Hooray! <laughs> okay, how about Bartleby? No, wait, wait, wait. Bartleby. No, I already used that one. Oh, I, I got it. How about Bartleby? No, no, I already wrote that down. <laughs> oh, B. Whatever name the Yetis choose, I'm sure it's going to be one cute baby. I wonder how Erg and Snick are doing anyway. <laughs> I'm sure they're doing great. <laughs> Erg, what's wrong? I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Really? You'd better come inside. Please make yourself at home. Have a seat. Ooh. So, what's happening, Erg? You can't find your pink underwear? I have that same problem. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Sorry, you were talking really fast. Here, have some tea. It'll make you feel better. Works for me. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nothing beats a cup of warm, crunchy tea. <sighs> 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 <gasps> the Bertaloo is upset? <laughs> because it's too noisy in Yeti Village? <laughs> now that can't be good. Uh -uh. We need to go see what the problem is. Pronto! Come on, if we hurry, we can catch the bus. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Non-stop service to the Yeti Village. Baby! Yeti! Yeti! Baby! Baby! Yeti! We're almost there, Erg. Baby! Huh? Oh, um, oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Erg. I'm sure everyone will be quiet once we get there. Huh? Seller, Yeti sweaters, muddled by Fruki, of course. Yeti Baby Palooza? This is terrible! Of 
agreed. Yeti baby bonanza sounds way better. I only told Griselda because I know she loves babies. I didn't think everyone would find out. Yeti! Yeah. This is all my fault! This is way too loud for the Bertaloo, isn't it? Uh, the Bertaloo! Oh, oh, oh. The Bertaloo's flying away? We have to do something! Is everything okay? Oh. Upset. Yeah, I think you're right, Bartleby. Wait a minute. Looks like she's heading for the window. Oh, no, you don't. <sighs> she's trying to get out. Wait, now she's heading for that window over there. Uh, sorry, Bertaloo. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Wow, this is different. I don't know, Erg. Where did the Bertaloo go? Hmm. Ooh. The Bertaloo! No! Oh! Oh dear! Mama Yeti looks kind of cold. Let's give her a Yeti sweater. I want one of those too. You're in luck. It's two for one Yeti sweater. Yes! Everybody! Hello! Yeah! Yeah! It's no use. They can't hear me. What? I can't hear you. I have to fix this. We need wish help. Camilo, I need you. We'll be right back. To the wishing tree, please. Z! Greetings, True and Bartleby. The Yetis need our help. I know. I've already started on this lovely little gift basket. No, they need a different kind of help. When I heard they were having a baby, I got all excited and had to share the news. And now everybody's way too excited, singing and cheering and buying silly souvenirs. There's a big crowd at the Yeti Village making a huge racket. The Bertaloo got really scared and Erg tried to catch it, but ended up knocking the whole house down. And without their house or the Bertaloo, the Yetis can't have their baby. Negative electrons! That is a serious problem. But sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first I need to fix Erg and Snick's house. Right, they definitely need their home to have their baby. Then, I need a way to make Erg and Snick's home quiet again so the Bertaloo can come back. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> Wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Da da. Please share with me. Please share with me. Ba ba ba. What a winning collection of wishes! For 
First up, we have Gogo. Bye bye. Gogo is a speed wish that can help you move super fast. Wow. Gogo, you can help us fix Urban Snick's house in double time for the baby. Bye bye. Next, we have Hushabai. Hushabai, it's always great to see you. <laughs> Hushabai is a soothing wish. Hushabai can calm you down with its sweet, soothing music. That's how we'll make things quiet. Hushabai, you can make the whole crowd feel calm and relaxed. Uh -huh. Finally, your third wish is Pinpoint. Oh. Pinpoint. Pinpoint has a remarkable ability. It can capture anyone's attention, and they won't be able to take their eyes off of it. A wish that likes to be the center of attention? Hmm. I can relate. <laughs> yes, Bartleby, but it actually helps people who are distracted to focus. Hmm. I'm not sure how focusing power can help, but I can't wait to find out. Uh-huh. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Let's go help the Yetis. Thanks, Z. See ya. May the wish be with you. I'm back with some wishes. First things first, we need to fix your house. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Gogo. -Go. Wish come true. Hi, Gogo. -Go. We need to put this house back together again. Can you help us move super fast? Go, go, go. Bartleby, you need Go Go Speedy Power too. Everyone ready? Uh huh. Get set. Go Go! Yeah. 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 Did it! Thanks, Go Go. You did everything so fast. We hardly got to spend any time with you. Now back in the pack. You're welcome. Well, um, well, uh, Don't worry, Snick. The Bertaloo will come back once I get the crowd to quiet down and be calm. Yeah, but how are we going to do that? Wait and see. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Hushabai. <laughs> wish come. Hi, Hushabai. I need your lullaby power. I've got a crowd full of Yeti fans down there who are just a little bit too loud. Hushabai! Great. Okay, Hushabai. Sing us the sweetest lullaby you know. <laughs> la, 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 la. Mm, what a sweet, la, sweet la, song. La, la, it's so... La, 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 Did you see the new Yeti trading cards? La, 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 la. Oh, boy, this is so comfy. It's working on Bartleby, but I don't think the crowd can hear you. Let's try a little louder. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, hey, look, it's true. Hi, Drew! She's got a wish. It's so cute. It's not as cute as this new Yeti baby doll I just got. Get your cute baby Yeti dolls here. Squeeze them and they'll talk. Me. Me. Uh -huh. Mine's broken. What? What? What's going on? Did I miss the baby? It's not working, B. Hushabai, you were the perfect wish, but no one can hear you. Can you keep trying while I figure out what to do next? Uh-huh. Thanks, Hushabai. Hushabai! Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, Erg. I'll get everyone to quiet down. <laughs> the Bertaloo will never come back if the crowd is this loud. 
And I know Hushabai could calm them down, but they aren't even paying attention to the lullaby. Bertaloo! Bertaloo! Come on, True. Focus. Wait, that's it! Keep singing, yeah. Hushabai. Help is on the way. It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Pinpoint! Wish come true! Hi, Pinpoint! I need your help to get a really excited crowd to calm down and focus. <laughs> yes, I know that's your specialty. <laughs> to say. Me too. That's how I feel as well. It's working! <laughs> Sorry, True. Everyone, it's great that we're all excited for the Yeti baby, but we need to remember, this is not our home. It's the Yeti's home. <sighs> I know the Yetis are usually very noisy, but when they're going to have a baby, they need everyone to be very quiet. Whoa. You did such a great job, Wishes. Thank you so much. Now back in the pack. <laughs> now that we're all quiet, maybe we'll be able to hear a very special song by a very special bird. <laughs> Needs a Yeti wake up call. Oh, Erg! Hi! Hi! <coughs> Bye! Bye! Wahoo! Bye. 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 Bye.
campers are here. Tradition? It is. Having fun is a Yeti specialty. So is recycling. Your sleeping bags are made entirely out of fallen leaves. Oh! And when you wake up in the morning, you've got a nice, healthy breakfast. Yeah! Uh -oh. <laughs> Great! Well, that Yeti tradition looks like a lot of fun. I want to try that. Sure. Everybody grab a Yeti buddy and have. Everything looks good enough to eat! That was delicious, thank you! Uh, now, uh, what should I do with my plate? Is there garbage? <laughs> Yetis don't believe in garbage. They reuse everything. <laughs> <laughs> including the plates, which are edible. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, oh, you know, this tastes pretty good for a plate. Huh, I was right! Mm. Everything is good enough to eat. Now that we've seen some Yeti traditions, do you think they'd like to learn some of ours? Definitely. What were you thinking? Well, when we camp out, we like to gather around, do some dancing, and roast nummelberry marshmallows. Oh, yeah, I love that. And the best part is, we do it at night. Oh, the Yeti's only like daylight. They never go out after dark. Ah! Never. Ah! Ever. Oh, message received. Guess we'll only have to collect half the Nummelberries now. Would you like some help getting ready for nighttime? Oh! Uh -huh! Come on, B. Um, mm, got any dessert plates? Mm, now that's hospitality. Mm. <laughs> oh, B. Can I ask you why you don't go out at nighttime? <laughs> You're scared of the dark? Hey, me too. That's why I always carry a security blanket and a security snack. And a security best friend. <laughs> Always. So, what do you do to feel safe when it gets dark? Whoa! Is this a Nine Eye fruit? I've never seen one before. So pretty. Oh, the Yetis have been using the Nine Eyes for thousands of years. <laughs> It helps them feel safe at night. It's too bad the Yetis can't join us at our camp out. Yeah, well, I heard they don't like being outside when it's dark. Well, maybe they need some lights, like those ones up there. Hey, that gives me an idea. Yay! Look how bright we made it. Now the Yetis can join us for camp out. Yay! I'll call them. Oh, Yetis! Uh, uh, we found some nice lights for you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Probably it. I'll be right back. Is everyone okay? We heard howls. Unhappy howls. Don't worry, True. I'll turn off those bright nine eye lights. No! <laughs> the Yetis are scared of the dark and they need those nine eyes to feel safe. Oh, 
I feel terrible. It's not your fault. You didn't know, but those yetis won't be able to go night-night without their nine-eyes. Let's just turn those nine-eyes back on. There must be a switch or something. <laughs> we can't turn them back on? <laughs> we have to get new ones from the nine-eye tree? What about these little lights? Couldn't they work instead? <laughs> Those lights are nice, but they're too small. <laughs> and not nearly bright enough. No, the only thing we can do is get more Nine Eyes. A great plan. Um, we'll wait till morning and leave when it's sunny, right? <laughs> I don't think the Yetis can last that long in the dark, Bee. Where is the Nine Eye tree? <laughs> deep in the never ending forest. Uh, how deep? Oh, so really deep. Can you show us the way? <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll stick together. And I'll go get some wish help. <laughs> oh, Cumulo! We'll be back before you know it. Till then, stay together. Yeah, there's safety in numbers. Unless you're a fishy poof cracker. <laughs> to the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Thanks, Cumulo. Back in a minute. Z, the camp of night is ruined. True, Bartleby. Is everything all right? I heard howls. No, everything is not all right. Those are Yeti howls. Why are the Yetis howling? Because they're scared of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. And the citizens accidentally put out their Nine-Eye lights, and now everyone is upset. <gasps> they put out their Nine-Eye lights? But the Yetis have been using those for thousands of years. We know! First things first, let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? Well, we need to find the Nine-Eye Tree so we can bring back more Nine-Eyes to the Yeti Village. But Snick's too scared of the dark to show us the way. So we need a way to light our path through the forest and keep Snick and Bartleby calm. The Wishing Tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Share your wonderful wishes with me. Oh. Wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Woo. Wishing tree, please share with me. Bamba, sir. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up, we have Woe Glow. Hi again, Woe Glow. I could never forget your bright personality. <laughs> As you know, Woe Glow is a light wish. It can illuminate any space, no matter how dark it is. Even say, I don't know, the never ending forest at night dark? Don't worry, Bee. Woe Glow can brighten any path. Next, we have Bumbershoot. Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. That'll come in handy if we get stuck somewhere really high. Uh huh, that <laughs> Bumbershoot. Are we planning on getting stuck somewhere really high? And finally, we have Gravidity. Gravidity is super sticky and stretchy. It can help you grab things from far away. That's amazing! I'm not sure how we'll use your power, Grabadiddy, but if you like adventure, stick with us. Grabadiddy! Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack! Let's go find the Nine-Eye Tree. 
Oh, no. We don't have any wishes to help the Yetis. Oh, I have an idea. Be right back. Okay, we'll meet you on Cumulo. Bring snacks! <gasps> okay. <sighs> Ooh, is that the snack bag? No snacks. Just ingredients for a glow potion to help the Yetis stay calm until you get back. Great idea. Let's go. My friend Z, he's here to help. Hi! Um, hello. True, I didn't realize there'd be such a big crowd. I'm used to potioning in front of small groups. You'll do great, Z. Pro tip, maybe don't go overboard with the science talk. But not all my talk is science talk. Well, good luck with that. Snick, are you ready to show us the way to the Nine-Eye Tree? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm here to bring you Radiant Energy! Uh, I mean, I'm here to bring you Illumination! Uh -huh. I'm here to bring you light. <laughs> Observe. <laughs> Stick, if you're saying this is a gloomy, dark, and spooky, shadowy forest, I'm right with you. It is getting pretty dark out here, but I've got just the thing. It's time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up! Wish come true! Hi, Woglo. Can you light up this gloomy forest for us? This, um, gloomy, dark, spooky shadow, so many scary words forest? <laughs> See? Much better. All right, okay. You know, uh, things are looking up. I can see the ground. I can see the trees. I can see my fishy poof crackers. Oh, can we stop for a quick snack break, True? Sure, Bee. How about a little rest, Woglo? Woglo! One for Snick, and one for True, and one for the giant scary plant creature. Ah! Oh! Don't be scared. It's just this cute little flower's shadow. See? Okay, it's gone. <sighs> Thank goodness. Everybody relax! Don't do that shadow thing again, okay, True? Not all shadows are scary, Bee. Some are fun. Here, you shine woe glow on my hands. Hey, it's me! I'm famous! <gasps> Rainbow King! <laughs> Delightful daffodil! I'm so pleased you like my shadow puppet show! <laughs> You're so good at making us not scared, Drew. I couldn't do it without my lovely assistant, Woglow. Woglow! Oh, sorry. I know it's in here somewhere. Aha! Ah. Nope, not that. <laughs> uh, yes, pollen from Rainbow King's favorite flower. Oh. And celestial particles. Uh, I mean, star sprinkles. A good scientist always knows when to check on his experiment. a huge waterfall, but uh, I'm sure it's just a... <laughs> huge waterfall! Okay, I do not remember a waterfall being here. We've never been here before, B. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Snick, is the Nine-Eye Tree down there? Oh, yeah! She said all we have to do is follow the river. Uh, how are we supposed to get down there? Easy, we're going to jump. I was afraid you'd say that. Bartleby, we're going to have to be brave. The Yetis are depending on us to bring the Nine-Eye Light back to the village. Time for my second wish. 
Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bumbershoot! Wish come true! Hi, Bumbershoot! Can you help us float down safely from here? Ah, Bumbershoot! Well, Glow, you sit on my shoulder, okay? Bumbershoot, we need you to get as big as you can. Uh-huh. Okay, everyone. One, two, three, jump! for a giant glow-in-the-dark tree. Come on! Next is something I call lightning in a bottle. First, we take frozen rain pellets. Oh! Add a tuft of storm cloud. Ah! A sprinkling of negative electrons and shake. <laughs> Forming in front of a big crowd is kind of great. I don't know why I was so worried. Voila! Lightning in a bottle! Yeah! <laughs> <Aww>. <sighs> hey, Snick, my paws are getting kind of tired. Is that Nine Nine Tree close by? Ooh! <laughs> Well, I guess that's the Nine Eye Tree. Oh! Thanks for your help, Woglow. Woglow! Now back in the pack. Uh, true. Why is the Nine Eye Tree so dark? I don't know. Let's go take a closer look. <laughs> Snick says the Nine Eye Tree is all lit up during the day. Then why do you think it looks so different at night? Oh. oh. It's sleeping. Of course it's all dark. Even Nine Eye Trees go to bed. So, how do we wake it up? Nine Eye. Nine Eye. Beautiful. Look at all those nine eyes. But true, they're so high up. How are we gonna get them down? It's time for my third wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Grabadiddy. Wish come true. Grabadiddy. Hi, Grabadiddy. I need your super sticky power to help us catch all those nine eyes. Uh huh. Ooh, yeah. Let's get grabbing, grab a ditty! Grab a ditty! Aha! 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 Way to grab, grab a ditty! <laughs> Thanks for your help, grab a ditty! Grab a ditty! Now back in the pack! Sorry to wake you, Nine Eye Tree, but my friends and I were visiting the Yetis and we, uh. Somebody threw water on the Nine Eye lights and they just went out. Wasn't me, just saying. A anyway, the Yetis are a little afraid of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <clears throat> Is it okay if we borrow some of your Nine Eyes? Mm hmm. Oh, thank you, Nine Eye Tree. Thanks. Mm hmm. We better get back to Yeti Village. Sweet dreams, Nine Eye Tree. Nine. I'm sorry. All my potions are destroyed. There's nothing else I can do to bring you light. Hey, there's some light. Those look like Nine Eye lights. Hey, it's true, Bartleby and Snake. Hi, we're back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Now we have enough Nine Eyes to light the entire Yeti village. 
And I wasn't afraid of the dark or my shadow. <laughs> well, maybe a little. I just want to say how truly sorry we really are. It's just that we got so caught up in the Yeti traditions, we didn't realize we were causing any harm. Well, isn't there anything we can do to help the Yetis now? Hmm. <laughs> Sitting. Next stop, Yeti Village. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Bertle Bee, we just left, but I can't blame you for being excited. I can't wait to babysit the Yeti triplets. Me too. Eee! Yeah, three Yeti babies equals three times the fun, which is why. I packed all my toys. I just didn't know if they'd be into squeaky toys. <laughs> or tin foil balls or silly faces. <laughs> I'm sure the Yeti babies will love your toys. Thanks for bringing them, Bartleby. And thank you, Griselda, for coming along to help. Oh, it's no problem. After all, I am a pro when it comes to babies. Look, I brought my How to Raise a Fruity book. Written by the most fabulous writer I know, me. <sighs> a whole chapter on baby talk? I'm fluent. Listen. Is little baby Bartleby excited to see the Yeti Weddies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's good. Yeah. <laughs> you are a baby expert. Mm hmm. I raised Fruki all by myself, and he turned out perfectly. Mm -hmm. Babysitting is going to be easy. Right, well, we just have to remember, though, not to actually sit on the babies, okay, Grizz? No baby sitting. Look, I have a whole chapter on how not to sit on the babies. Mm. Last stop, Yeti Village. We're here! <laughs> Ready to babysit your fuzzy little triplets? I've got my fruity training book! And I brought all my toys! Hi, Hi Snick! Hi! Babies! Yuck! <laughs> Yuck! Fluff! Aww, they're almost cute enough to be princesses! Oh, okay. The babies just had their nap. I love marble berry. And they had some numble berries. And now it's playtime! Oh. And now they're ready for playtime! Did someone say playtime? <laughs> nope, not that, not that. Nope, nope, yes, yes! Hmm, what should we play? Fetch? Chase your tail round and round? Smother Bartleby with kisses? Brookie can play that for hours. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't you don't! Aww. No! Bye! See you at sunset! We'll make sure they're in bed by then. All right, cuties. Who's ready for some true tickles? Hey, where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> I have Grok! Correction, I had Grok. Bloof, <laughs> <laughs> nobody touches the crown. <laughs> Okay, Grok, that's a good girl. Uncle Barnaby's arms are getting a little tired. I'm just gonna put you down for a second. Okay, who wants to go for a kitty back ride? Huh? What? <laughs> Yuck! 
There you are, you silly girl. Wait a ninja catch, B. Roll over. Shake a paw. I think we should take these little bundles of fun outside. Where things are less breaky. <laughs> Who wants to go for a little carriage ride? <laughs> Wait, we need toys. My Fruki Schmookums never leaves home without his favorite chew toy. <laughs> B, what do you have? Well, let's see. I got the uh, squeaky mousey. No, uh, yarn ball. Uh, any takers? Hmm, tough crowd. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you can't go wrong with a tinfoil ball! <gasps> the babies! They love to doubt us! <laughs> oh, phew. Just wanted to go to the playground. Okay, who wants a push from Uncle Bartleby? <laughs> After he has a rest. Bloof, that is such a cute pose. Okay, now stay. I've got to face bubble this. Ready? Say I'm a cutie. Uh, uh, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Silly Floof, calm down here. The only thing cuter than a princess is a princess with a Yeti baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jumpy and crashy. See? Isn't this fun? <laughs> I think she wants to sniff around the tree. Fruki loves sniffing trees. And then he. <gasps> ah! Fruki does not do that! Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, Grok, but we should put that down now. Okay? Uh, Wait! I meant put it back where it was! <laughs> Good boy, Floof. Now show Grok how to play nice with trees. A lot of water. We'd better go find those triplets and see what they're up to. I'm sure there's something about all of this in my How to Train Your Fruity book.
Rose. Thanks, Cumulo. Griselda, will you be okay keeping an eye on the triplets? Totally. I'm in control, as always. Great. We'll be right back. To the wishing tree, please. Go, go, Cumulo! How did the babysitting go? We've got a big problem. The Yeti triplets went rolling off in their carriage. And then we found them, but then they started pulling out trees. And the river got clogged and the whole Yeti village is flooded and Griselda's just floating there. And the babies are definitely not sleeping. And Erg and Snake will be home any minute now. Unbalanced equations! That is a big problem. Let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, the triplets are safe, so first we need to stop the flood in Yeti Village. Good idea. You should tackle the biggest problem first. There's so much water that everything's floating. Yeah, and running on logs is way harder than it looks. It is. The triplets make it look so easy. They're impossible to catch, so we need a way to round them up. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. these wishes. Now let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Graplo. Hey ho, Graplo. Ah. Graplo has mighty grabbing power. He can grab onto anything and lift even the heaviest oh. objects. Oh yeah, ha ha. Perfect. Graplo, you can help us unblock the river. Oh. Your next wish is Hugsy. Oh, yeah. This is a fun one. Hugsy! Hugsy loves wrapping anyone in super tight hugs. Who doesn't love hugs? Hugs! Hugsy, <laughs> you can help us round up the triplets. <laughs> and last, but definitely not least, we have Twisty. A super strong wish. Twisty! Great to see you again. <laughs> this one is a force of nature. Twisty can twist up anything, even a strong tornado. That's incredible! I'm just not sure how twisting could help with a flood or baby Yetis, but I can't wait to figure it out. Oh. <laughs> Zoo zip zap, wishes in my pack. <laughs> Whoa, let's go fix Yeti Village! Thanks, Z! Bye, Z! You're welcome! Good luck! Good job watching the babies, Griselda. Oh, no problem. You know, I always knew I was a great babysitter. But now I know I'm a fantastic carriage sitter, too. <laughs> Time for some wish power, True. You got it. Cumulo, take us to the bridge, please. <laughs> For my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Graplo! Wish come true! Hi, Graplo! See that bridge over there? Oh uh ho! -huh. There's a big tree that's stuck underneath. Can you grab onto it and pull it out? Uh huh. Great. Okay, Graplo, get into position. 
Hey, ho! Now, ho! Oh, hey, ha, ha! Ho, ho! down. Cute Yeti babies, anyway. Huh? That didn't really answer my question. Which way did they go? Your can flew for swinging over there, and there, and over there. <laughs> okay, but where's Grok? That came from over there. Okay, okay. Don't worry, babies! Uncle Bartleby will get you down! Um, true. How is Uncle Bartleby gonna get them down? Hmm. <laughs> we'll give them something that babies love. Hugs! Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Hugsy! <laughs> wish come true! Okay, Hugsy. These little yetis need your super huggy power. Oh, yeah! And that! Now's your chance, Hugsy. It's Cuddle O'Clock! <laughs> nice squeezing, Hugsy. You can let go now. <laughs> Aww. And now to buckle you in to make sure you stay put. Cause okay. <laughs> Here comes your. Okay, Hugsy. Time for round two. Hi, Yurik. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? That's two babies down and one to go. <laughs> Hope your snuggle supply is high, Hugsy. <laughs> no need, True. Hugsy can sit this one out. My book has a whole chapter on what to do when your Fruki's off his leash. Come here, Floof. You be a good baby Yeti. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hmm. When training your Fruki, offer treats as a reward. <laughs> I've got some yummy snacky wackies. <laughs> gotcha! Such good yetis. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thanks for everything, Hugsy. <laughs> now tuck yourself in. <laughs> well, that's that. Now let's get these yeti babies home in bed. <laughs> You're getting sleepy already. See, I knew babysitting was going to be easy. Yeah, it's a good thing you brought your book, Griselda. And bringing your toys was a great idea, too, Bartleby. We're a pretty good babysitting team. Oh, what a wonderful sunset. I love the way it feels on my face. Huh? Sunset? And oh, look, there's Erg and Snick returning from their big day out. <gasps> Erg and Snick? I really hope they don't see that big pile of trees over there. It's messy. Pile of trees? 
Oh, no! We can't leave the Yeti Village like this! Cleaning up trees is not in my babysitting book. Griselda Bartleby, you need to get those Yeti babies back in bed before Erg and Snick get home. But, True, who's gonna clean up that mess? I'll take care of those trees. Okay, okay True, True, we're, we're on it! it. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Twisty! Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Twisty! We need your help, and fast. You see all those trees over there? We need to clean them up before Mama and Papa Yeti get home. I know you can twist up a tidy tornado to lift them. <laughs> Better hurry up. Twist, Twisty! Griselda. I'm sure they have the triplets snug in their beds by now. <laughs> okay, Twisty, now's our chance. <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh. Great job, Twisty. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Yeah! <coughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Shh. Hi. Oh. Thanks for the fun day. You sure kept us on our toes. I hope you two had a lovely time. We had such a fun day with your little triplets. Whoa, oh boy, they sure do know how to play. <laughs> and good thing I was here because absolutely nothing went wrong. Here's my card. Daddy, 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 You got something for us? Oh, you shouldn't have. It was our pleasure. Love you, Daddy. <gasps> Frozen Sasuni juice balls! Woo! Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much! To the best babysitting team ever! Aww! <laughs> <laughs> Mount Huff and Puff. Are we there yet? Almost! Ergen Snake promised it'll be worth the hike. Remember what they said? All I heard was, uh... Actually, they said... <laughs> which means Splashy Splashy Springs is great family fun for all ages. Well, uh, normally I avoid squishy, splashy things, but that does sound amazing. <laughs> We're right behind you! <gasps> There's Mount Huff and Puff! Splashy Splashy Springs is supposed to be right next to it! Well, with that giant tree in the way, we're not gonna do any splishing or splashing in Splishy Splashy Springs. You're right. How are we going to move this thing?
Those gushing geysers look like so much fun. Well, playing around in that water might be fun, too. Come on, Bartleby. Let's go for a swim. Well, swimming's not really my thing. I'm a cat, you know. But sometimes you gotta dip your toes in and test the water. Literally. <gasps> ah! Cold! 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 <laughs> I think your toe's extra sensitive today. Trust me, you do not want to go in there. Yeah, I can't do that, man. Erg, you're a big furry yeti. It can't be that cold. No! Yes, again. It's freezing cold. Oh, maybe we'll just stick to the geysers today. I mean, what does a mad mountain even look like? You know what? He's gonna get you down. Hi! Yeah! 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 Mm. Whoa, no, please go ahead. I, I think I loosened it there for you a bit. Be good, I think. Sit tight, everyone. To the wishing tree, please. 
Don't worry about us, True. Uncle Bartleby will keep these yetis entertained. Have no fear, my furry friends. Burning hot lava may be boiling hot to the touch, but it's perfect if you're in the market for a tasty treat. Yeah. Okay, the first one always gets burnt. Huh. Okay, so maybe we have to wait for this lava to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, we can, uh, let's see, uh, well, what do we have here? We have rocks. Some more rocks over there, and, uh, boy, <laughs> a lot of rocks in this cave, uh, I don't know, um, wanna do a fun craft? <laughs> That's the spirit! Thanks, Genuo. Be right back. Fascinating. Z, Z, Mount Huffinpuff is erupting. Oh, hi, True. And I know, I've been watching on my face bubble. Tell me what happened. Bartleby and I were there when it all started. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Bartleby? Trapped with the Yetis, surrounded by lava. They're actually on Mount Huffinpuff? Why? The Yetis took us to Splishy Splashy Springs, and then the ground started shaking. First, I thought we made the mountain mad, but then I thought it looked sad. Now I'm not sure, but Bartleby and the Yetis are trapped by hot lava. And even worse, the lava's flowing down the mountain toward the never-ending forest and Yeti Village and all the critters that live in the forest! Blistering basalt! This is serious! Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? Well... The first thing to do is rescue Bartleby and the Yetis from the lava. Good thinking! Then, when everyone is safe, we have to stop the lava from reaching the forest. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready! Now let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up is Thermo. Thermo. Thermo can handle any temperature, hot or cold, and not feel a thing. Ah. Thermo is very protective. You're just the wish I need to get across the hot lava. Thermo. Next up is Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug loves getting dirty. It can also move tons of dirt in no time. Perfect. Diggy Dug, you can dig a big hole to hold all the hot lava. Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug. And your third wish is Elongi. Hi, Elongi. Elongi. Elongi is a stretching wish. It can stretch super long, like a rubber band. Elongi. I'm not sure how you can help with Mount Huffinpuff, but it's hardly a stretch to see you're always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Wow. Thanks for everything, Z. Anytime, True. Good luck. Okay, and just a little rock here and there. Nailed it. Looks just like the Rainbow King. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. <sighs> All right, my Yeti friends, let's see what you came up with. Oh, come now, don't be shy. This is your first rock sculpture after all. And remember, Uncle Bartleby is a bit of a pro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes, well, uh, not too bad for a first try, a little crude, but hey, we can't all be master stoneworkers. 
With a little help from Uncle Bartleby, you three have a lot of potential. Bartleby! I'm back to get everybody off the mountain! True! Oh, too bad we can't finish our rock sculptures. So disappointing. Oh, well. Okay, everybody, True's here. So uh, let's form a line, single file along that wall. Thank you. I'll have you guys out of there soon. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Thermo! Wish come true! Hi, Thermo. Thermo! That lava is really, really hot. Can you handle the heat? Ah! Mom, mom, mom. Thermo! Allie! All right, let's go, Thermo! times better if we took it out. But Snick couldn't even pull it out, even after I loosened it for her. I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, well, it's hard to, to, to think of anything with all this r r rumbling going on. <sighs> You're right, Bartleby. Let's go try and get Mount Huff and Puff to calm down. Cue Milo! Puff? Uh, uh. It 
it's me again, True, and my best friend Bartleby. We come in peace. We can see you're really upset. Is it okay if we try to help? <laughs> okay, well, whenever I'm upset, I take a deep breath like this. <sighs> Give it a try. <laughs> Better? Mm -hmm. That log sticking in your side must hurt. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. We'll get it out. But True, how are we going to do that? Well, I've still got one more wish. Elongi. I don't know. Elongi doesn't seem strong enough to pull a tree out of a geyser. I think you're right. So let's have a think. Okay, Mount Huff and Puff is trying to blow the log out of its side. But every time it tries, it just blows out its top instead. Maybe Elongi could cover the top so that when Mount Huff and Puff blows, the log gets pushed out instead. That's it! Mount Huff and Puff, we have a plan. It's going to be a little uncomfortable for a minute, but then it'll feel better. You're going to have to be brave and trust me, okay? <laughs> Great! It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Elongi! Wish come true! Hi, Elongi. Here's the plan. You're going to stretch all the way across the top of Mount Huff and Puff and hold on tight. <laughs> Can you do it? You're the best, Elongi. Take us a little closer, please, Cumulo. Go, Elongi! <laughs> Mount Huff and Puff, blow again. Really hard this time. would agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing us here, Ergen Snick. This turned out to be a pretty fun outing after all. Yeah, although it's too bad the water was so cold in Splishy Splashy Springs. I was really looking forward to taking a dip. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> ah, it's cold! C -c 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 Not cold? Wait a minute. It's warm, like nature's bathtub. <sighs> now this is water I can handle. I think this is Mount Huffinpuff's way of saying thank you. Thank you, Mount Huffinpuff! Yeah, you really saved the day! <sighs> Mystery. Mom, mom, mom. 
Yes, who is it? <laughs> Somebody sounds hungry. <laughs> My novel berries! Ooh! I got it, I got it! Oh, I got it! Nom, 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 nom. Thanks, Bartleby. Found another pie pin, Your Highness. Oh, that's great news. It means more Nummelberry pies for Yeti Spring. Yeti Spring? Yes, the Yetis will be waking up from their winter sleep. They'll be very hungry, and they love Nummelberries. Can't get bought off. Head. <laughs> There, finally. No! Oh. Another pie crust is ready. Special delivery. Nummel berries. Bartleby, can you please go get the nummel berries? <laughs> berries? <laughs> right away, Your Highness. <laughs> right away, Your Highness. <laughs> Thank you. The nummel berries are here! And now they're not! The basket is empty. Bum, bum, bum. Empty? I don't get it. The basket was full, and then all of a sudden, poof, it was empty. Ooh, look at that. Oh, well, at least there's one little berry left. Hi there, little berry. Oh, you smell good. Delicious. <laughs> Petrifying purple. Someone has taken my nummel berries. We have a mystery on our hands. Don't worry, Rainbow King. We'll find your missing berries. We'll track them down because Detective True and Detective Bartleby are on the case. We are? Oh, yeah! I mean, we are. Splendid. Best of luck, detectives. Detectives, that's us. Detectives. Yeah. True? What are detectives? They solve mysteries by finding clues and following them. We just need to find our first clue. Clue! <laughs> hmm, what's this? Let me see. <gasps> no more berry juice. Our first clue. A big wet clue, too, don't you think? Those are footprints, Bee. Hmm. Whoever took the Nummel berries must have dropped some and then stepped on them. Leaving giant berry footprints when they ran away. We've solved the mystery. This is great. Can I have the first Nummel Berry handful? Not quite, Bee. Because where are the berries? <gasps> I... Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's keep following the footprints. Prince true? Well, then we better split up and look for more clues. <gasps> Another clue! A purple puddle! That could be from Nummel Berries. Oh, <laughs> just a nice pop puddle. Uh huh, okay. And uh, when was the last time you ate a Nummel Berry, hmm? Admit oh. it. You love Nummel Berries, <laughs> don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Uh, why are you shouting? Am I? Sorry. Okay. The buses might be able to answer you if you don't shout. <gasps> Look! More berry footprints! Wow! I am great at this detective stuff. Hi there! Did you see the passenger who left those berry footprints? No, I can't see who gets on. I keep my eyes on the road. But I did hear some big squishy footsteps on my last trip. A clue! Do you remember anything else? Um... Oh, that passenger kept saying, Yum, yum, yum! Another, Another clue. clue! Could you please take us where that passenger went? Sure, I'm going that way now. Hop on! Go 
Good luck. <gasps> baskets. I love baskets. Look, I'm in one. Oh, now I'm in another one. And this one's better. Ooh, is this one better? <laughs> or is this one better than this one? Look, a clue. A numbleberry. Do you think these baskets were full of them? <gasps> Well, they were, but then they weren't. We were supposed to deliver them, but the berries just disappeared. So now we have to send them back up to Bunch of Munch of Island. Bartleby, I wonder if the berry bandit emptied these baskets. Is this, could this be? Another clue? clue? Dun, 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 dun. If you don't mind, we'll catch a ride up with this empty basket. Sure thing. Bye, True. And Bartleby. Um, how are we gonna get back up there? I... Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Bunch of Munch of Island. Island. Look at that. No! Not again. What's wrong, Farmer Mossa? True. The numbleberries, they're gone. I just came back from Berry Island, and our whole crop just, poof, disappeared. The whole crop? Well, almost all of it. There's one more basket left. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, not again. No! They really are all gone. What are the Yetis going to eat now? They're going to eat numbleberry pies. Because we're detectives, and we're going to find them. Psst. True. We're all out of clues. We're a little clueless. Hmm. Then we better get some wish help so we can catch the berry bandit. Cumulo! Oh. Hi, Cumulo. To the wishing tree, please. Oh, hey, Troom Bartleby. Wh what are you doing, Z? I'm searching for Hide Z, a camouflage wish. It blends in anywhere so you can't see it. Now, I can't see it. We'll help you look for it. <laughs> Drew, where did you go? <laughs> that was fun, Hidezy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, True. So what brings you here today? A berry bandit. All the berries in the kingdom are gone. And it's Yeti Spring. What? That's awful. It is. So Bartleby and I are detectives following the clues. Like squishy berry juice footprints. We're trying to find the berry bandit, but we ran out of clues. Come, sit. Let's have a think. <gasps> How do detectives usually find clues? Well, they look, listen, and sniff. <laughs> oh, Bartleby, I need a wish that will help me hear better and one that will help me smell better. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. What a fun group of wishes. 
<laughs> Let's see what the Wikipedia says about their powers. Your first wish ah, is Snorful. It can sniff out smells that are barely even smelly. <laughs> I Snorful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Snorful can sniff out some new clues for us. Whoa! <laughs> Hiria is a hearing wish. It can pick up sounds from really far away and amplify them back to you. Maybe we can hear the sounds the Berry Bandit makes and follow them to find him. <laughs> and your third wish is Grozer. It can make any plant you find in nature grow larger. Great! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Go get some clues and catch that berry bandit. Back to Bunch of Munch of Mile and Cumulo. Wishes glow? You stubbed your toe? <laughs> no, I said thanks, Cumulo. It's loud here, isn't it? Let's see if Heria can hear any clues over all this noise. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose blue. Wake up, Heria. Wish come true. Hear anything, Heria? <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> Definitely amplified. Oh. Try another sound. Oh. Not this time. <laughs> We're still not hearing any sound clues. Can you try again? That's it, that's it. Yum, yum, yum. Find that sound. Hi! You go that way, I'll go this way. I'm going that way. I mean this way. Whoa! 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 I can hear you, Berry Bandit. A Yeti after him. Wow, this place is amazing. Hey, True, can I have my next birthday party here? <laughs> Be, are you chasing or playing? <laughs> oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> Here he has picked up a sound clue. Let's go. Which way did the berry bandit go? Uh, oh, uh, you don't hear it at all now? Uh, uh, they stopped making noises. Uh, Thanks for all your help, Heria. <laughs> <laughs> A basket! Whee! Wait up, Bartleby! Aren't empty baskets great, True? B, that's it. The basket is empty because the berry bandit ate all the berries. That's why Hiria couldn't hear it anymore. And if this basket was on the conveyor belt, that must mean the berry bandit has gone back down to whoa! The ground? Wow! See? I am a good detective. <laughs> I told you. I told everybody. Look! The berry footprints again! Let's follow those footprints. Footprint. 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 
Aw, no more footprints. Detectives never give up. We look, listen, and sniff. We sniff clues out, too. <laughs> okay, so I'm not a dog with a great sniffer. Thankfully, I'm a cat with great looks. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you smell anything? Actually, I do smell a faint scent of numbleberry. But it's not quite smelly enough for me to tell which way the smell went. We have a wish that can help us with that. Snorful, get ready. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snorful. <laughs> wish come true. <laughs> that tickles. Snorkel, can you sniffle the sniffs from this berry and then follow that smell? Wow, Snorkel is a super sniffler. Aha! The berry bandit! Caught you berry handed! So where are the rest of the berries? And why did you take them from everyone? Uh, Bartleby. True, please, I'm questioning our suspect in a non-shouty way, I might add. This isn't the berry bandit. Look at the size of its feet. They're way smaller than the ones we saw before. But it, 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 it's eating berries. This little cutie probably just found some spilled berries and stopped to eat them. <laughs> Cutesy, cute, cuteness. Okay, it didn't steal the berries, but it probably saw who did. You're right. Did you see a berry-eating creature with big feet come this way? Or that way? <laughs> um, could you maybe just point to where it went? <laughs> Thanks. Snorkel, can you sniffle any berry smell that way? <laughs> and we're back on the clue trail. Enjoy your berry, cutie. Huh. Did we take a wrong turn instead of a right turn or a left turn? We hey, must have. All that's here is a big wall of rock. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> There's that sound again. <laughs> yetis? Ah! Lots of yetis. Eating lots of numble berries. Now we found our berry bandits. What are we gonna do, Drew? Ahem. Excuse me, yetis, but those berries, well, they don't all belong to you. Yeah, maybe we should go. Uh oh. Nom, nom, nom. I'm a ninja cat, not a numbleberry. Taking things without asking isn't good. The Rainbow King and Farmer Monster are pretty upset about the missing berries. <laughs> Rainbow King. Miss Rainbow King. <laughs> You miss the Rainbow King. You speak Yeti-ish? Oh, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I do speak a little Yeti-ish. <laughs> Hello, uh, did I mention that I'm a ninja cat? I am not a baby Yeti. Thank you very much. Good meet ya! Oh, boy. Rainbow King, come in. Are you there? True. I'm so happy to hear from you. Did you find my numbleberries? Yes. But I think you should come to the Yeti's cave right away. I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, my Yeti friends must have woken up early. So early that your numbleberry pies weren't ready for them yet. And without those pies, the poor things must have been so hungry. Well done, Detectives True and Bartleby. You solved the mystery. Yeah, now they feel bad. Yeah, they feel bad about eating all the berries in the kingdom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and me too. I feel bad too. Don't worry, my big furry friends. We understand now. Thank you. But what if the Yetis wake up early next spring? What if there aren't any pies or numbleberries? Won't they sneak around and take them again? 
sapphire blue. True, that is a problem. Any ideas? I have one. A big one. Uh, uh, Mama Yeti, baby needs his berries. Yetis, you're going to go from berry eaters to berry farmers. We're going to teach you how to grow your own nummel berries. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> This could take a while. Time to use my last wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Rosen. Wish come true. Grozer, let's turn that sprout into a bush. A bush with nummel berries. Just grow some more bushes, and you'll always have Nummel Berries ready for Yeti Spring. And what's better than Nummel Berries? Nummel Berry Pie! <laughs> Great job, Rainbow King. You know there's six of us, right? <laughs> Are you hungry again, Wordle? Oh. 